tanks down there in case that stuff blasts out, man. <laughs> Right there, we got it, baby. So Derek just threw the track off of uh, one side, one track off the A30. So I got to get up in here and see if we can help him get it back, get it back on real quick. My loader, y'all hold tight. And he's in a bad spot right here too, going off this steep hill. I've been road track ever since 12, Chad. It's the first time I've ever thrown off the track, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbing your balls in. <laughs> yeah, because this hill is going to be bad. Yeah, you're about 15 feet in the air like that. It magnifies it when you go over a little high. Oh, ain't no doubt. I'm going to get myself pulled in here. Ah. Let's see. Oh my god, this is insane. Isn't where cotton top comes in, so I'm going to ride as a goat. Let's see. Oh my god. It is slap off, y'all. Ah, come on, baby. Let me lay my seat up here. Yeah, we get this thing up top here. I'll track it up there towards that other cutter. Leave it up there in that curve. And I'll just jump in that other cutter and we'll just deal with it. About our best option. Especially since the mud and stuff is going to be bad on the road. Yeah, we can get this thing up top here. I'll track it up there towards that other cutter. And leave it up there in that curve. And I'll just jump in that other cutter. Let it come off. Let me get the sprocket on first, and then we'll come back. I'll get back up there, and we'll work on that end first. We need to get the sprocket on first here. Okay, okay. Make it a lot easier on all of us here. Let me get the track out. I'll let you get the track out and you come on the pass, me. If I have to, I'll get Chad to help put it to me. But I should be able to walk it out and we'll get the top of the hill. Alright, so now I gotta go back down the hill. Grab this drag and get it on out of your way. Just in case I don't know how far you, you're going there, but I'm gonna grab it and get it out of the way. We've put a couple of tracks back on over the years, but they usually just kind of jump off one-sided and things like that, you know. So we got to get we're gonna have to get up off of this uh, off this where it's so steep right here first before we can do anything. We'll keep it turned right. All right, and my stuff is all backwards here, so I got to go up the hill backwards. Thank you. 
you can try, you know, walking yourself up. Just don't let that idler fall out up there. Yeah, I'm gonna try it once you get out of the way. <laughs> We get up here on lighter ground, we'll have a lot better. All right, I can't see your heel in here, so just kind of let me know. Clear. I just had something slip on my system here that just popped really bad. I think it was a rock getting tracked there, Tim. I've seen it pop up. Swing and try to drag it if you can there and get up here on this. We're gonna try to slide that idler back in here real quick. We got the We took the pit Don't put your face down there in case that stuff blasts out, man. <laughs> Get it out of the way for just a second there, Derek. And one way or the other, either toward me or toward Chad or whatever, we're gonna slide them tracks on up there and get them right up the side right there. Or just pick it straight up or something, just where I can slide them up. Let me just sit right in here while I'm the square wheel.
out of the cab. Yeah, yeah, but anything I need to do. <sighs> Uh, no, I'll just turn them sideways. Tim, get them up against me. All right, spin back around there, baby. Drop on it scared me better than that hook. Get on up there. I'm gonna hold mine and keep it from going anywhere. Alright, uh, uh, do, do you want me to go ahead and just stop what I'm doing? Because I, that, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm just seeing what Kevin wants. Pull, pull it on up just a little bit more. Bump it, bump it up. Cause we're gonna go right over it. Just ease it up. See if it'll keep riding up just like it's doing. Come on, a little bit more. I hold tight right there. I need a bump against the tick. Yeah, just the tick. That could pop, pop it right over that, uh, uh-huh. It could pop it right over that dang thing. We've been to get it here, y'all. Okay. Yeah, that actually helped me a lot when you did that. Pick it on up. Come on up. Right, pull, pull, pull to you just a little bit. We're hanging that uh, skid right there. That skid thing. Yeah, hang on. Let me see if it'll stay right here. If it'll sit right here and just give me this second. slack out of it on your end right there. Pull it where to come on up. There you go. There you go. Alright, we're gonna clear it this time. I tell what you got I'm gonna sit in place. Let me see what it looks like on the sprite here. Alright, if it's on the thing you're probably good I can eat forward. I might be able just to just shuffle it around, but keep the spot inside. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to track right here where I can watch it. I'm going to hold it, and that's what we're going to do. I had to take me a second to get my boom, you know, my limousine turned like we need to. As I'm sitting at the perfect high, so I need to lift up or lift down then. Yeah, you good right there. All right, we in like Flynn on a sprocket, baby. Do whatever you need to do there, Chad. If you can get that mother to go, you know, toward toward Derek, there, and if you can get it, if you can get it anywhere close, then I should be able to come around and set it in place. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to turn the boom. Gonna go to you for just a second because I gotta get the front end turned a little bit, and then I can back up. Okay. I tell you what, if you want to, just kind of pull on forward and ease it. Just ease it down and if that sucker is set right there it's hard to ease it down now
the nail, if, uh, if Chad would hold, hold, hold you, boom. Hold, hold play, you can kind of just uh, hold up against it. But you come around here and grab the other end, see if you can get over the aisle. All right, let him hold just, just make sure that thing don't kick off because uh, a while ago my grapple got hung in the track. Tim, if you would, hold up against that track right there on your end first and before I open it. Alright, just give me this seat. I'm trying to watch Kevin. Kevin's kind of in the mix of everything here. I'm going to get over here and try to do that. I'm trying to watch him because this stuff we're building right now, buddy, it would, it would smash you. Yeah, yeah. He's he, he, he getting on over out of the way. But if you could uh, hold that track just to keep it from jumping crazy, and I can I can, uh, I can, can let go, and, and I'll get around there and get my blade and, and hold and just keep it from jumping anywhere. You got it, don't you? Yeah, I got it. All right, back up toward me just a little bit. We'll take some of your pressure off of it. There you go. There you go. All right, spin the grapple. There you go. There you go. Just right, baby. All right. I'm getting too old for this stuff, y'all. So Chad's gonna hold it on the sprocket back here while I do my thing. All right, I, I, I got it that way pushed against there. I don't think it should jump anywhere. You should be able to get her tied if you need to. machine just a little bit there Derek we're to get a little bit higher okay all right Chad if you want to you can back up and back off of it because I've got enough on it here am I how am I on the middle of it on that slide right there am I gonna kind of miss that am I, am I hanging on that slide or am I okay no you're still hanging hold on one second oh. I might give you some relief with that blade right there now you got it clear Clear. All right, pick it on up higher, dude. In the spotty collar right now, so we're looking good on this other end. Can, can you, can, can Derek spin that sprocket towards you and just let you keep pulling it and laying it over that way? That's exactly what he needs to do. Just very gently, Derek, spin it toward me. You keep, you keep that pressure going, Tina. I hold it this second, Derek. Ain't gonna be able to handle that thing. 
They tell me pull on forward a little bit more. All right, I don't want that thing to come off on him now. So everything we're dealing with is just really big, really heavy. I mean, I got my gravel up there. Kevin's right there at it. Just don't want to get nobody hurt or anything because this stuff here is not, you're not going to get hurt. It's going to kill you. All right, so Chad's going to tighten up on it there. Just hold it right there. Okay, boys. All right, Derek, use it. Yours, Chad, or either back up to me. Come on, Derek. A ho ho, right there. We got it, baby. Again, this white song guy who leases a goose, baby. Yeah, it'd take 10 and 2 degrees to fill it back up. We gotta, I'm gonna make sure where he's at on it. So actually that really wasn't, time-wise, we're just under an hour getting it back on, about 40 minutes. I gotta get it on the idler, just off the idler, just a little bit right now. gonna fall the track has got so much slack in it the track is the bottom rollers are gonna be on the outside of the rails right there I believe I need to try to get some of that uh, some of the slack out of it if we can't get the idler back out a little bit you know but you could uh, you could ease it back and forth and see what she does yeah I may see y'all hollers y'all see something pop off Right, try easing it down real slow and uh, while you're spinning it there. Uh uh, uh uh, no, I don't. We're going to have to get, you need to down. You need to down, just don't track it none. 
All right, just hold it right there. You're going to have to get some of that slack out. As soon as you go to track, it's going to pop off right there. we got to get that, that uh, fitting back in that thing. We've had these tracks for uh, seven years now when we bought the machine. I have one to stick them on, finally. So we're gonna put them on. We got that machine over there now. We've had these tracks for uh, seven years now when we bought the machine. I have one to stick them on, finally. So we're gonna put them on. We got that machine over there now. All right, I am over 3,000 feet from where I'm currently standing right now on this track. We're gonna fly over it and kind of get a uh, quick bird's eye view of the progress on it. And what we got left to cut, you can see I'm directly flying over what we cut a couple years ago. And you can, you can tell what, we, uh, what we've currently cut in the last couple of weeks here. Right there is that 20 on the right. Here's all of this stuff here that we're currently have uh, went through and worked on coming back toward us. So at the beginning of the video, you seen the, us putting the track back on the 830. Uh, when that happened uh, yesterday, it, it uh, that got the last little bit of life that we had left on the tracks that pretty much done it on in so that machine is completely down we already had a new undercarriage coming for the machine you can see the, the 830 sitting right there part and all of it is supposed to be in at the end of this week we're going to go ahead and haul that machine tomorrow to the shop and where it can be getting started replacing the undercarriage on it uh, the whole thing is going to be replaced even the track pads the track pads on it the cleats on it still have a lot of life left uh, the pads themselves are gone uh, so that's kind of the deal on that without saying uh, much more on that but the entire undercarriage is going to be replaced on it pads everything so we're been running our 726 yesterday afternoon and this morning we right now have problems with it the uh, brake in the back rear end chunk is dragging on it it has john deere axles up under that machine i believe it's got a 1400 looks like a 1400 in the front which is right under where Derek's sitting and then uh Looks like the back probably has a 1200 series John Deere up under it, which is pretty common. You'll see that a lot on cutters, on rubber tire machines. They'll have a larger front chunk than they do a back one because that's where all the pressure is. Probably the mass majority of all the new ones built now have probably got even heavier than 1400s up under them, I'm sure. So it, uh, we've had it happen before on John Deere chunks where the brakes started dragging and then what happens is, is uh, for instance, a while ago when we shot it with a temperature gun, the front chunk was a little over 100 degrees and the back chunk was 305 degrees. You could actually smell it. So there's no telling what it is smoked in the chunk when you go to rebuild one of those chunks. If you have to rebuild it, uh, you're looking about $10,000 right there. So there you go. Uh, we are currently without a cutter right now since the 830 is down. 
and now the uh, 726 is down we have no cut down machine Derek's got a few more trees uh, probably enough to load three or four more loads on the ground we're gonna pick it up and clean that up and then we'll be done hopefully we're what Derek is or what uh, we're doing right now we got a mechanic here we're gonna cap the brake system off on the back chunk because we don't need it our front brake system will work on it fine and we're gonna try to get by for a little bit we're gonna go ahead and take the 830 down to the dealer in the morning where they can get started on the uh, working on the track system on that because that is going to be a major job to do that so i'm going to bring the drone back in i just wanted to fly it real quick where you can kind of see the job what we had left on here and so there you go